Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Beatrice Pardet and Frankie Two Socks with your morning beach walk. It seems a little bit cold and wet today. I hope the rain doesn't catch us. Let's see you on the beach. Pardet, is jy blij ons het opgestaan? Yes, it was raining yesterday. Incredible. And the mangrove trees is still dead here at the tidal channel. And the tidal channel has got very confusing water flow directions this morning. And here's my skin. Das per dit. Hello. Goeiemorgen. En nou, kan ons verder gaan. Is dit lekker? Move, 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 move. Wat zie jij? Kom, 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 kom. Polly shorts. <laughs> she slides down the dune. <laughs> And the mouth is still migrating westwards. It's supposed to migrate northwards. Yes, a glimmer of sunshine is coming through the clouds. Let's go and have a look at it. Lots of rain there. Eh? Drink spilling in the ocean. That's the sandbank growing from the southern side. There's a couple of yellow billed stalks standing there. Some plugs got unstuck during the night that's Mopelan Bay at the turn of the tide there was some interesting fluid dynamics happening here Take a walk down up the estuary.
take a shot of the estuary basin from the top of this dune. It seems to be the highest point here. St. Lucia estuary basin. Here's a glimmer of hope. There's a glimmer of hope. If that can be tidal influenced by the spring tide, it might just carve its way open along that route over there. And then we can get some nice tidal flush on the outgoing tide to keep on scouring this channel over here. Walking sand dunes keep on walking to the south. I'm going to that spot over there so we can take some pictures of the yellow belt stalk. hide away from them and they don't need to get startled by our presence. At 57 and almost 8 I can still do a leopard crawl. Pops are complaining but what they are. Did you get something? I got something. I got to see what, but I got something. Another one joined in. Successful hunt, they like shad fishermen. One guy pulls something out, another one joins in. Can you believe it? Yo, they're piling up now, hey? Eh? Mallet. That's he's gonna tangle in some debris over there. Nope, the debris is going different direction. How did I figure that out? He's got one too. Couldn't see what that was, but it looked like a prawn. A huge prawn. Get out of my way. This is my piece of I'm casting here. No, nothing is biting yet. Those guys have got sardines. We've only got mackerels. They're catching all the fish. We don't get anything. Now the fish has stopped biting. I 
Uh, those two dudes are parking over there. They pissed off with each other. They were casting over each other's lines. Now they're just recuperating a little bit the egos. That dude is coming back for a long cast. He's going to throw his bait right across the sandbank. That one is first. He made sure he cast first. Okay, so he's now got the better angle, the better spot. And everybody else is now jealous. Get out of my way, you're casting on my spot here. Yeah. I'm getting such great footage here. Yeah. But unfortunately, data is expensive to upload everything. He's going to wait in to get a better cast distance. These guys are still upset. The red eye sardines they bought from the tackle shop is not fresh. Telling you guys, if you marinate it in salt and brown sugar, it wouldn't make a difference. But you don't want to listen. So now you have to watch how the other people fish. I took those two by surprise. They've got whacked between the legs. Now everything is wet and full of sand. Grinding paste. you get that did really cost his bite in deep now now that is a you, you got tangled there with some debris, my friend. Nothing. Did they take your bait? Without you even feeling the bite. Look at that massive crocodile hunting here next to the shoreline where me and Pardet normally walks to get you uh, nice videos in the morning. And 
just as I changed batteries it comes up for a pose it's now crossing in front of us I don't know if we're gonna see it now moved a lot into the estuary mouth trying to get back with the incoming tide me and Frank are arguing is the tide going out coming in I think the crocodile is fighting the tide here whichever way it's going and I think it's trying to get back into the estuary it was washed out with probably with the outgoing tide and the Fulosi river water flushing it Uh, the crocodile is tired Maybe I'm gonna get one more shot of it It's been fighting the current now for a couple of hours I think It's gonna show itself any moment now, any moment Now that I've got the record button going, you don't come up anymore that's no fun got, got pictures on the previous run and I didn't get any video interesting phenomenon here at the boardwalk entrance with the walking sand dunes we haven't been here now for a couple of days because of the rain two days I think and look at how it changed a lot of rainwater from yesterday's rain here but um, that is more interesting at the moment the formation of this sand dune eastwards as it moving southwards it's bloody amazing strange flower here on a strange tree or a shrub or something Just in time to catch the hippos here at Sunset Jetty. Just lying there in the current. Beautiful, beautiful sighting. St. Lucia's always got something to offer. One must just be interested in finding it. Where are you guys going? Not one of the most exquisite sunsets yet we have here at Sunset Jetty, but definitely worth the effort to get here and enjoy it. But it enjoys the afternoon walks. Well, nowadays it runs. She runs with me, especially the afternoon. 